her smile. Yeah, she's got a beautiful, beautiful smile. And she's always trying to make the best of everything. Her smile makes my life what it is. My mom's best friend, Vicky, told me that I should really come to Colorado because I would love it there. And if I came, I would never leave because it was made for me. Um, we met in Blacksburg, Virginia um, back in 2009. We both uh, were a part of a post-baccalaureate program before medical school and on the first day of class he came up to me and he said, you're from Colorado and I said yeah and he said, you know about 10 years ago somebody said that I should move to Colorado because I would fit in really well. Well, at first I thought, and this is going to sound bad, well, maybe he's trying too hard to have everybody like him. He was out in Colorado, and Caitlin's family is big and powerful, but then I realized it's just him. He just loves everybody, and he just loves to love and is always wanting to give somebody a hug or rub Caitlin's shoulders or, you know, just, He's just very reassuring and wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And I, I just adore him and I couldn't imagine anybody with Caitlin. Caitlin, she is amazing. When she first came to town, we met her and we all went to dinner with her and my family and we were just like, wow, this dude found a keeper. In fact, the next day we were even talking about like these guys are going to get married. It's just, ha it has to happen. Absolutely love the girl. She is just amazing. She brings out the best in my best friend here. And it's it's amazing to see. You know, when you know that somebody you know that long, it's like a brother to you that ends up with a girl that that great brings up the best in them, it really is an amazing feeling. I mean he's extremely kind. That's I mean, definitely one of his best traits, but he's also very funny. And he has this talent of just making me laugh whenever I'm upset or, you know, just not in the best of moods. And I don't even know where he comes up with this stuff, but he's hilarious. My father pulled me alongside my, my stepdad afterwards and said, um, so what are you gonna do about that girl because she is perfect for you? And I said, well, nothing at the moment, but I'm fully aware of how phenomenal of a person she is, and any chance I get, rest assured, I'll take advantage of it. We are here today not to witness the beginning of what will be, but rather what already is. Today, Eric and Caitlin proclaim their love and commitment to the world, and we gather here to rejoice. Marriage requires love, a word we often use with vagueness and sentimentality. We may assume that love is some rare, mystical event, when in fact it's our natural state of being. So what do we mean by love? 
When we see love, we see things other people do not see. We see beneath the surface to the qualities that make our beloved one special and unique. To see with loving eyes is to know inner beauty. And to be loved is to be seen and know as we are known to no other. One who loves us gives us a unique gift, a piece of ourselves but only a piece that that one could give. The secret of love and marriage is in the emergence of the larger self. It is the finding of oneself by losing it. Such is the privilege of husband and wife, to be each himself or herself, yet altogether another, to face the world strong with the courage of two. To make this relationship work, therefore, takes more than love. It takes trust. Trust to know in your hearts that you want only the best for each other. The true art of married life is in, is in this and inner spiritual journey. It is a mutual enrichment, a give and take between two personalities, a mingling of two endowments, which diminishes neither, but enhances both. And so each of us receives a gift the life and love of the other. We receive this gift not only from the one we love, but also from the parents and family and friends who are gathered here today. And so, Eric and Caitlin's family and friends, we are here to share with them the joy and hope, and we see them off on the path they will walk together. May it be a path of blessedness bright with flowers of prosperity and spiritual awakening. Eric and Caitlin, this celebration is the outward token of your sacred and inward union of hearts. It is a union created by your loving purpose and kept by your abiding will. It is in this spirit and for this purpose that you have come here to be joined together in marriage. As you hold one another's hands, look deeply into each other's eyes as we begin your vows. Are you ready? Yes. Good thing. Eric, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, and honor her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, so long as you both shall live? I do. Caitlin, <laughs> yes, and then and then. Caitlin, will you take this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, and honor him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, so long as you both shall live? I will. Traditionally, the marking of this passage is the exchange of rings. These rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning and no end, no giver and no receiver, for each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows you have taken. Eric, will you take Caitlin's ring, place it on her finger, and repeat this simple vow with this ring I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. If it fits. It will fit. There you go. All right. Caitlin, will you take Eric's ring and will you place it on his finger and repeat this simple vow? With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Well done. <laughs> So Eric and Caitlin have chosen the rose ceremony to further define and celebrate their love. In the old language of flowers, a single rose always meant, I love you. The rose ceremony gives recognition to the new and most honorable title, husband and wife. So your gift to each other on your wedding day has been your wedding rings, which shall always be an outward demonstration of your vows of love and respect and a public showing of your commitment to one another. Now you have what remains the most honor honorable title which may exist between a man and a woman. 
the title of husband and wife. For your first gift as husband and wife, that gift will be a single rose. So please exchange your first gift as husband and wife. Inasmuch as you have consented together in this ceremony to live in marriage and have sealed your vows in the presence of these wonderful friends and your loving family, and by giving of these vows, rings, and roses, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you as husband and wife. You may kiss. the best and I know you guys are going to obtain it you know um, it, it's I can't wait to see the future that unfolds for you both I hope that they have a long long happy life together and I know she wants to have lots of kids but I hope that he'll also let her have some ponies and some horses for those kids too because I know that would make her more than happy I love him unconditionally. I mean, he is the best person I've ever met, and this day was absolutely perfect. Um, Caitlin, thank you so much for making me a better man and inspiring me to um, stand up and take life head on, because without you, Things just sort of happened, but from this day forward, I have made the best of my life, first with you and from forever on, because um, you made me who I am today. You're everything to me. I love you very much.